Back to the floor for reasons that my senator friends are trying to hear me, all, uh, tired of hearing me talk about all the time. But I come back to give you a specific example of retaliation against whistleblowers, uh, agencies of the government not answering letters that we have sent, and also what I believe is some political interference in some of my oversight work. Today it deals specifically with the Department of Veterans Affairs, as we know it around here, the VA. So on April 2 of, this, of last year, 2021, I sent letters to the VA and the VA Office of Inspector General based on allegations from multiple whistleblowers. Those whistleblowers reported numerous ethical violations, retaliation, and possible leaking of market-sensitive information that may have affected retail investors. I've been waiting more than a year for response to my inquiries. Emails obtained through the Freedom of Information Act by government watchdog group called Empower Oversight show that career public servants at the VA prepared a response to my letter over a year ago. But when it came time for the Secretary of VA, McDonough, to uh, send that letter to my office, senior Biden political officials blocked it. It appears that Biden appointed VA officials have issued an order not to respond to my request, and I have a pretty good reason why. We know that the VA received these allegations from whistleblowers early on, and the VA ignored them. Whistleblowers alleged, among other things, conflicts of interest between senior level VA officials and a company represented by her husband. This official, Charmaine Boga, has since left public service. The company that employed her husband, Bera Boga, is uh, the company's entitled Veterans Education Success, or VES. On multiple occasions, starting in December of 2017, an employee at VA sought guidance from VA lawyers on whether Mrs. Boga should recuse herself on procurement-related matters. The lawyers affirmed that Mrs. Boga should recuse herself, and the employee even copied Mrs. Boga on that guidance of recusal. The employee also alerted VA leadership of Mrs. Boga's need to recuse herself. Mrs. Boga never recused herself, but the VA employee was reportedly removed from federal service. Now that's retaliation, that's unjustified, or should never happen. In response to my letter about these and other allegations, the VA Office of Inspector General immediately opened an investigation. The VA Office of Inspector General uncovered more wrongdoing than originally thought. And I have four points that they uncovered, but I'm, not going to, I'm only going to go into those four. Mrs. Boga participated in matters involving her husband's employer contrary to ethics guidance. Mrs. Boga interaction with that company violated the apparent conflict rules. Mrs. Boga did not provide sufficient detail 
to VA ethics about her spouse's business, and four, Mrs. Bogut refused to cooperate fully in the OIG's investigation. These are only some of the allegations that I've received. The VA Office of Inspector General did not review the allegations of whistleblower reprisal, nor did it investigate whether the VA employees mishandled non-public information. I raise questions about all of these issues, and to date, I've had no substantive communication from Secretary McDonough about any of these questions I've raised. So what is the VA hiding? What else did the VA know or choose to ignore? Congress needs answers, not stonewalling. Independent government watchdogs and whistleblower advocates have called on the VA to review government grants and screen for companies and individuals who have engaged in wrongdoing. They've also urged the VA to consider whether those individuals or entities should be able to obtain government contracts in the future. I'd be, I'd be very interested in whether those who refuse to cooperate with the OIG requests can still obtain taxpayer money through government contracts. The Biden administration has claimed time and again that it is the most transparent administration in U.S. history. Well, I think I just gave you an example that that's not true. And it certainly hasn't been true in this case for emphasis. The VA deserves much better. And of course, the VA serves our veterans, and our veterans deserve much better from that agency. The VA needs to start being as transparent as they claim to be transparent and cooperate with this investigation. Thank you.